Hey there, how's it going? So this is a continuation of the Spark UI tutorial and what I'm going to go through today is the local checkpoint, Spark scheduling mode and max partition bytes. So first of all, let's go through the local checkpoint. So this is a cell data. What I'm going to do is checkpoint this data frame. So I said the local checkpoint and I'm going to say it guys true. Uh, this means that this data frame will be checkpointed immediately. So the checkpoint action will take effect immediately. So um, if I run this one now and check the UI, so if I refresh and you can see the look checkpoint uh, description here, and if I go to the storage, you can see the map partitions already there. So this is uh, the cache fashion, which is 100%. And the size of the data in memory is 4.4 megabytes. And the cache partition is one. Um, you may be wondering why do we have just one partition? So normally when you um in the previous video when we had one partition right we had to partition the data uh, across different partitions right we had to provide number of partitions and and basically the reason why you have one partition uh when you checkpoint your data frame is because the data frame may not be large enough in size so by default the when when the spark read the data frame right it has to uh read it into one partition so the fourth partition size for uh, a spark is uh, 128 megabytes so if your data is not big enough the data will be cached into just one partition so that is why sometimes um, you may have to do repartition or you can set the max partition byte so if i go back to the code and if i go to the session here i can add dots dot config and say spark dot sql dot files dot max partition bytes so here i'm going to say um the max one partition the, the maximum size of data we want to have in one partition is four kilobytes so i'll say four zero nine six a so if i do this and rerun the code then go to Spark UI. If I refresh this one now, you can see the cache partition now is 562 um, in, in, in number, right? Uh, so you can actually use a 4K as your, this is 4 kilobytes. So if we also increase it to 8 kilobytes, uh, we run the code. So let's check the story again. So the cache partitions now is 281. Now we've got the max partition. Let's go with a uh, scheduling mode. So basically, if you check the job, you see the scheduling mode, which is a uh, faithful, FIFO, which means a uh, first in, first out. So this is a priority based scheduling mode. It will allocate resources to the first job in the queue so the first job has to finish running before the result the available resources can be allocated to the next job in the queue so it basically gives priority to the first job in the queue uh, compared to the fair scheduling mode that that is a bit different so the job uh, the resources get allocated to uh almost evenly allocated to all the the jobs right 
So it's not, uh, it's different from the first, uh, first out scheduling mode. So the uh, fair scheduling mode can be good in terms of if you have some short running job, right? So if you have a short running job, it doesn't have to wait for the long running job to finish running before it can um, execute the short running job. But in the, in, in the case of first in first hour, the first job has to uh, finish running. And if it's going to take time, then the short running job will have to wait until the first job finish running, which may affect the performance of the application negatively. So let's see how we can change the scheduling mode. So if you go to the config and you say the spark dot dot mode fair run. Okay, let's check the UI. So if I refresh this, you can see the scheduling mode now has turned to fair. You can't see the effect now because the job has completed already, so it's not running. But if it's a huge data you are dealing with, so your job is going to run for maybe 30 minutes on an hour, then you see the effect of the scheduling mode, uh, uh, fair scheduling mode and fearful scheduling mode. And then, so yeah, so that is basically it. And if we go to the executors where right? you can see the number of uh, calls is eight basically this is the number of logical processor you have in your system so you can customize the number of calls your application wants to use um, if you are running in your local system right so if you basically go here instead of turning the spark to use all the logical processors right all the calls right you just um assign the one that you can use maybe you want to use a uh, three calls. so if you you just have to provide three here and let's check the ui if we refresh this so you can see the number of calls is now three right so um and this is basically the storage memory i think i've come through this one before so uh, you can see the data the size of data we checkpointed is 4.5 megabyte so this is telling you that out of 1.9 gigabyte we've used 4.5 megabytes and this is the RDD. You can see we've checkpointed uh, our data into 281 partitions. So this is telling me the RDD blocks. Those data has been checkpointed, right? So you can see if you are working with cross right? You will have more than one executors. Then this will show you the um storage memory usage for each executors the number of calls per executors the number of active tasks the number of filters and so on so that is it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and leave a comment have a lovely day and goodbye